What if I told you the strongest gamefowl aren't always the purest? That sometimes the fiercest warriors in the pit are not the result of one bloodline perfected for generations, but of two or even three different bloodlines carefully combined into one powerful hybrid. What if the real secret to next level performance doesn't lie in keeping your lines pure, but in unlocking something far greater? The hidden power of hybrid vigor. This isn't just guesswork. Across history, from the farms of legendary breeders to the arenas where champions are made, hybrid vigor, or heterosis, has proven that when two strong lines come together, the offspring can surpass both parents in strength, speed, endurance, and even intelligence. But here's the catch. Not every cross produces greatness. It's not simply about mixing blood. It's about strategy, timing, and knowing which traits to combine and which to avoid. Today, we're going to break it all down. The science, the breeding strategies, and the real-world results that show how hybrid vigor can elevate your breeding program to the next level. Because in the end, the question is, not just what bloodline you hold, but how you use it to create something stronger than ever before. Let's start with the foundation. Hybrid Vigor, also known in science as heterosis, is one of the most powerful tools in animal breeding. At its core, it happens when you cross two genetically different lines and the offspring display qualities that are not only inherited, but actually enhanced. Can game foul. This can mean stronger bodies with better muscle density and bone structure, sharper instincts, reacting faster in split second moments, quicker recovery times, bouncing back from stress, training, or conditioning more efficiently, and sometimes even superior stamina, allowing a bird to fight longer and harder than either of its parents could. To put it simply, the offspring are not just the sum of their parents. They're often an improved version. This is why many top breeders throughout history didn't just protect their lines. They also experimented with crossing them, searching for that special combination that would produce something extraordinary. But here's the key. Hybrid vigor doesn't happen by accident. Not every cross will result in better birds. In fact, careless mixing can do the opposite, watering down traits, creating inconsistency, and losing the very qualities that made each line great. That's why understanding genetics, knowing which lines complement each other and which traits to emphasize, is critical. When done right, hybrid vigor can transform your breeding program unlocking a level of performance that pure lines alone may never reach. But let's clear up a common misconception. Hybrid vigor doesn't mean just mixing any bloodlines at random and expecting champions to appear. The truth is, the foundation of your breeding yard matters more than anything. Your foundational. Lines are the bedrock upon which everything else is built. Every great breeder starts by asking a simple question. What is the strength of my yard? Some bloodlines are known for brute power, birds that hit like a hammer. Others are respected for endurance, the ability to last deep into a grueling battle. And some are prized for fighting intelligence, the ability to read, adjust, and outsmart opponents. For example, a hatch line might serve as your powerhouse, delivering raw strength and punishing blows. A Kelso line could contribute cleverness, timing, and calculated fighting style. A sweater line may add blistering speed, precision cutting, and relentless forward drive. Meanwhile, a roundhead line could inject gameness and unpredictable tactics into the mix. The secret is not in stacking. Names, it's in combining traits. Think of it as building a team. Every player brings something unique to the game. If you already have power in your yard, you don't need more power. You need to balance it with speed, intelligence, or endurance. That's when hybrid vigor truly comes alive, producing birds that are not just good in one area, but exceptional across the board. This is why legendary breeders often guarded their foundational lines so carefully. Once you know the strengths of your foundation, every cross becomes strategic, every mating a step closer to creating the perfect balance. Now let's dive a little deeper into the science behind hybrid vigor. When you cross two genetically diverse lines, something remarkable happens. 
Weaknesses in one parent can be masked or even erased by the strengths of the other. This creates offspring that not only inherit desirable traits, but often exceed the limits of either bloodline. This is why hybrid offspring may grow faster and reach maturity quicker, fight with more power and sharper instincts, recover from stress or training more efficiently, show stronger disease resistance, living healthier and longer lives. It almost feels like magic, but the truth is, it's genetics at work. Here's how it works in simple terms. When you breed two unrelated lines, you reduce the chance of negative recessive traits pairing up. Instead, dominant and beneficial traits have more opportunities to express themselves. The result is a stronger, more balanced bird, one that can surprise even seasoned breeders. This principle isn't unique to gamefowl. It has revolutionized livestock breeding worldwide. In cattle, hybrid vigor has produced herds with better growth rates, fertility, and resilience. In corn and rice farming, hybrid crops often yield more harvests and withstand harsher conditions. In poultry, crossbreeding has boosted egg production, growth speed, and disease resistance. And in gamefowl, the same law of genetics applies. But here, the arena becomes the ultimate proving ground. A bird may look strong on the farm, but only. In competition will you see whether the cross truly worked, whether hybrid vigor has produced not just a fighter, but a champion. This is why breeders who understand the science gain an edge. They don't just breed by luck or trial and error. They breed with purpose, combining lines in a way that nature itself rewards. By now, it's clear, hybrid vigor can be a game changer. But like every powerful tool, it comes with both advantages and limitations. Let's start with the advantages, superior performance. Hybrid birds often grow stronger, faster, and tougher than either parent line. Increased vitality. They tend to show better stamina, sharper reflexes, and greater resistance to disease. Balance of traits. By combining bloodlines, you can create birds that cover weaknesses, adding speed to power or endurance to cutting ability. Proven results. Many legendary champions came not from pure strains, but from well-thought-out crosses that clicked perfectly. But here's the other side of the coin, the limitations. Inconsistency. Hybrid vigor shines brightest in the first cross, often called the F1 generation. But when you breed hybrids to hybrids, traits can scatter and results become unpredictable. Loss of identity. Without careful record-keeping, you can lose track of which traits came from where, leading to confusion and diluted quality. Not a shortcut. Hybrid vigor is powerful, but it's not magic. Poor conditioning, weak selection, or careless breeding will still produce weak birds, no matter how many famous bloodlines are mixed in. Short-term edge. Unlike pure lines, which can be maintained for generations, hybrids are often one-time combinations. That means constant strategy, careful planning, and sometimes starting over with fresh crosses. So what's the lesson here? Hybrid vigor is a booster, not a replacement. It's the spark that can create exceptional birds, but it still relies on strong foundational lines, disciplined selection, and a breeder who understands the balance of traits. In the hands of a skilled breeder, hybrid vigor can turn good game fowl into great ones. But in careless hands, it can just as quickly turn a yard into chaos. Now that we understand the science and the balance of traits, the question is, how can you apply hybrid vigor to your own yard? Here are some proven strategies. 1. Know your foundation. Start with strong, proven lines. Don't just collect. Bloodlines because they're popular, study what they bring. If your yard already has power, look for speed or endurance to complement it. If your birds are fast but fragile, cross with a line that brings toughness. 2. Focus on F1 crosses. The first generation cross, what breeders call the F1, is where hybrid vigor shines brightest. These birds often carry the most balance and the strongest expression of improved traits. 3. Test and observe. Don't assume a cross will work just because it looks good on paper. Raise, condition, and observe. The arena or the keep will always reveal the truth. Keep notes, record what works, and just as importantly, what doesn't.
4. Keep it simple. Avoid overcomplicating with too many lines at once. Start with two well-matched bloodlines. Once you understand the results, you can experiment with three-way crosses. Remember, clarity is better than chaos. 5. Protect your pure lines. Always maintain your foundation. Use your pure hatch, kelso, sweater, or roundhead lines as your breeding stock. Crosses are for performance, but pure lines are for preservation. Without them, you'll have nothing stable to return to. 6. Select the best, cull the rest. Hybrid vigor may give you a higher percentage of quality birds, but not all offspring will be champions. Discipline in selection and culling is what separates a great breeder from a backyard experimenter. 7. Condition with purpose. Even the best cross will fail without proper conditioning. Hybrid vigor may give your bird the tools, but it's still up to you to sharpen them through training, feeding, and discipline. In the end, hybrid vigor is not about luck. It's about strategy, breeding with purpose, observing results, and adjusting with wisdom. That's the path to creating game fowl that carry not just the names of famous bloodlines, but the undeniable stamp of excellence. Before we wrap up, let's clear the air on some of the most common mistakes and myths about hybrid vigor. Myth 1. All crosses equal hybrid vigor. This is one of the biggest misconceptions. Just because two bloodlines are different doesn't mean their offspring will automatically be better. Some crosses simply don't click, traits may clash, weaknesses may double up, and the results can actually be worse than either parent. True hybrid vigor happens when the strengths of both lines complement each other. That requires knowledge, patience, and careful selection, not guesswork. Myth 2. Hybrid vigor replaces conditioning. This couldn't be further from the truth. Even the best hybrid, with superior genetics, will fail without proper feed, care, and training. Hybrid vigor gives a bird the potential, but it's the breeder's responsibility to develop that potential. Without conditioning, a hybrid is just another bird with wasted gifts. Myth 3. One good cross guarantees success forever. Some breeders make one great cross and believe they've found the magic formula. But here's the reality. Bloodlines evolve. What worked 10 or 20 years ago may not produce the same results today. Conditions change, selection changes, and even the traits of a line shift over time. That's why your breeding strategy must also evolve. Hybrid vigor is not a one-time secret. It's an ongoing process of testing, adjusting, and improving. And here's another mistake many fall into, believing that hybrid vigor can replace pure lines. Once you lose your pure foundation, you'll lose your ability to create consistency. Remember, hybrids are the performance birds, but your pure lines are the building blocks. Without them, every cross becomes a gamble instead of a strategy. Gat. The end of the day, hybrid vigor is not a shortcut, not a cure-all, and not a replacement for good breeding practices. It is a tool, a powerful one, but only when used with wisdom, discipline, and respect for the bloodlines you hold. The future of game fowl breeding will belong to those who can bridge two worlds, tradition and science. For generations, breeders have relied on instinct, experience, and the wisdom passed down from mentors. This knowledge is priceless. But today, science gives us new tools, understanding genetics, nutrition, conditioning, and yes, hybrid vigor. The secret isn't just in preserving history. It's in amplifying it. Hybrid vigor shows us that by crossing wisely, we don't abandon. Tradition, we elevate it. Every hatch, kelso, sweater, or roundhead you hold is not just a name. It's a living legacy. And when combined with strategy, those legacies can create something greater than ever before. Imagine a future where breeders don't just follow trends, but design their own lines with purpose. Where records are kept with precision, crosses, are tested with patience, and only the best are carried forward. A future where every bird represents not only the strength of its ancestors, but also the vision of the breeder who shaped it. Because at the end of the day, you're not just raising. Roosters, you're crafting warriors. Warriors that embody the best of both worlds, the heritage of the past, and the possibilities of the future.
and that's the challenge for every serious breeder moving forward. Don't be stuck in the old ways. Don't chase shortcuts. Instead, honor tradition, embrace science, and use hybrid vigor as the bridge between them. If that's how the next generation of champions will be born. So what have we learned? Hybrid vigor, heterosis, isn't just a scientific term. It's a living principle that can transform your breeding yard when used with knowledge and discipline. We've uncovered its foundations, seen how to identify the right lines, explored the science behind it, and revealed both its advantages and limitations. We've looked at strategies that work, the common myths to avoid, and finally, we've glimpsed the future where tradition and science walk hand in hand. At the heart of it all is a simple truth. Great breeding isn't about luck. It isn't about chasing names or copying trends. It's about understanding your bloodlines, respecting their history, and using wisdom to unlock their potential. Hybrid vigor doesn't replace tradition, it amplifies it. And when combined with conditioning, discipline, and vision, it can turn good game foul into champions. So the question now is, what kind of breeder will you be? Will you simply keep birds? Or will you craft warriors that carry the best of the past into the future? Because the legacy of your yard, the story of your bloodlines, depends not only on the birds you hold, but on the choices you make today. Honor tradition. Embrace science. Breed with purpose. That is the true path forward. Like this video. If you believe in breeding with wisdom, comment below. Do you think hybrid vigor is the future of gamefowl breeding? Or is purity still the key? Subscribe for more stories, strategies, and history from the world of gamefowl.